Welcome back to my channel. Katie here from Salvaged by Kay Scott. I am a furniture painter who spends her days finding worn out, outdated pieces of furniture that are usually abandoned and giving them a whole new lease on life in order to keep them out of our landfills. This is just a tiny child size six drawer dresser that I picked up for free from the curb. It's mostly particle board and knotty pine. And it's definitely not a piece that I would pay for at the thrift store. And if I were looking at it as a potential flip to sell for a profit, it would be a hard pass for me. But for a free curbside find, I think it still has a little bit of life left in it. And it's gonna be a great canvas to have a little fun and experiment with, even if it doesn't all come together in the end. To start this flip off, I removed these poles. I am not a fan of these colonial style poles. So these guys are not going to be returning. And then I pulled out all of the drawers so that I had access to the inside and I could clean everything really well. This dresser is pine and pine is a soft wood that dents and marks really easily. And it's already in pretty rough condition. So I think I'm going to go with that and not try and force this piece to be a perfect smooth finish. Instead, I wanna go down more of the cottage farmhousey type road with this one. There was a bunch of veneer peeling away from the bottoms of the side panels. So I used my painter's tool to lift up anything that was loose and break it away. And then I filled in those spots with some wood filler. I also ended up filling in the hardware holes on the drawers because I thought I was gonna be changing them up to some cup poles, but I did end up changing my mind before this project was done. While that wood filler dried, I turned my attention to the front skirting piece. This board across the front is solid wood and I wanna use it to bring a little bit of personality to this plain Jane dresser. I just did a video where I used my jigsaw to straighten out a frilly skirt on a dresser, but on this dresser, I'm doing a complete 180 and I'm actually gonna be adding a scalloped design to this. So I traced out some lines with the bottom of a spray paint can and then carefully cut it out with my jigsaw. I am not good with this saw or any saw really, but this is good practice for me. I know it's not gonna be crisp or perfect, but every time I use the saw, I get a little more comfortable with it and a little better with it. So I'm totally okay with the imperfections on this. I will just take it as a learning experience. Once I was done with all of my cuts, I put some 80 grit sandpaper on my five inch random orbital sander and use that just to smooth out the lines on those edges and really kind of help shape the scallops just a little bit more. By the time I was done with that skirting piece, the wood filler was good and dry. So I switched out my sandpaper to a softer 180 grit and smoothed everything out as much as I could. really get a good surface on the bottom edges of the sides here. They were just a little bit too gone to fix with wood filler. So I grabbed a piece of this trim out of my wood stash to kind of shore up the sides, give me a nice crisp edge on the bottom there and provide some extra support where that particle board has been compromised. I used our little coping saw to quickly make these cuts and then just use some wood glue and clamps to attach these extra bits of reinforcement trim along the bottom. I 
grabbed a clean microfiber cloth to pick up any sanding dust from my repairs, and then I was ready to prime. This Bin Shellac Base Primer is going to seal in any wood tannins that might want to bleed up through my new paint job. The knots in Naughty Pine are notorious for staining over time, so this primer will prevent that from happening, and it will also give me a really smooth, consistent finish over the previously finished wood and the new, more porous areas of wood filler. Most of the drawers also had some pretty serious stains from markers, crayons, various craft supplies, so I made sure to prime those as well. I'm just gonna paint the whole drawer inside and out. Usually I don't do that, but with stains like these, it's just the easiest way to take care of that. I ended up applying two coats of primer over the inside and outside of all of the drawers and the outside of the dresser as well. I left my primer to dry overnight and the next morning I was ready for paint. I chose to use House in Canvas's chalk finish furniture paint in the color Morning Mist on this one. It is the most gorgeous soft blue gray tone and I'm applying it with my gravity fed HVLP pneumatic spray gun. I gave the insides of the drawers two coats and then stood them up and moved them off to the side and sprayed two coats on the drawer fronts and the rest of the dresser as well. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking. After my second coat of paint was dry, I noticed that the drawer fronts weren't quite smooth enough. I wasn't loving this. I'm definitely not expecting perfection on this piece. It's pretty much impossible to get a pine piece perfectly smooth, but this was too much for me. So I grabbed some drywall spackle, which is a little bit unconventional, but it sits in these really shallow imperfections so nicely and it sands down super smooth. I used some 400 grit sandpaper once this spackle was dry just to smooth everything out again and then I applied another two coats of paint. I was originally planning on doing cup pulls on this dresser but I don't know cup pulls are overdone to me. I did however have these little pine knobs from another dresser a while ago so I brought them outside I gave them a quick scuff sand and painted them in the morning mist paint as well. I skipped the primer on the knobs because they were already sealed and I'm not worried about any bleed through happening on them. I let all of my paint dry for a few hours while I did some other things around the house. And then after dinner, I popped back out to the garage to seal everything up with some of House and Canvas's matte top coat. I haven't really liked the way that my top coats have been spraying in the summer heat it seems to dry in the air before it hits the surface of the piece. So this little foam brush from the dollar store was a much better option for right now. Then it was time to drill out my hardware holes once again. <laughs> I filled these in at the beginning of the video before I knew that I was changing my mind on the hardware. So I just drilled the holes right back in the original spot and attached my little wooden knobs. I could have gone a million different ways for hardware on this piece, but I already had these knobs on hand and I really like the soft monochromatic look that they created. Unsaid words be spoken, and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade, feels like. 
Thank you for hanging out with me again today as I created this cute little cottagey dresser. Please make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on any upcoming furniture makeover videos. Leave me a thumbs up, a comment down below. Don't be afraid to share this video. And I will see you guys next week with another incredible furniture flip.